All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I wanted to go over 10 quick shortcuts that you can use in Android Studio, which will save you a lot of time when developing. So the first one I wanted to show you is actually a multi-selection tool, which you can access by first highlighting an item and then by holding down Alt plus Shift, it will allow you to select multiple text fields. And it will also allow you to edit these. So we can just write edited rubber duck. And as you can see, we edited three text fields at once. So it's kind of like refactoring, but it is only for the text fields you specify. The next one I want to show you is something I learned from coding in flow. And this is how to find out about the constructor info when you create a function, a pre-made function such as this one, you'll see it doesn't really tell you what we have to put there. So if you hold down control plus P, it will give you the dialog box that tells you exactly what you're missing. So for example, here we're missing this and let's pretend we messed up and we don't have this text field anymore. So we try to find out what it is. It says expecting an argument, which isn't really useful. We can hold control plus P again and it will tell you it's missing a char sequence or a res ID. So we're just gonna write hello. Pretend you have a value or a class that's referenced throughout your entire project and you want to change it. Now, it takes a lot of time to go around and change them all. So a simple shortcut for that is the refactoring shortcut and that is Shift plus F6, which allows you to edit the property and we are gonna change this property to list two. And you can see that's a very fast way to change the item you're working on. And we can do it again so we can change it back. We'll just type in list this time. And the fourth shortcut I want to show you is how to quickly run your program without having to click on the run button. To do this, all you have to do is hold down shift plus F10 and it will compile your program and run it. And you can hold down shift plus F10 again if you want to rerun it. So that's a very efficient shortcut for running your program. And all right, so shortcut number five. If you hold down Alt and you click on the left or the right arrow, you'll be able to switch through tabs and that can save you a lot of time. And also pretend you are in activity main and you have several tabs you can move through, such as the design, the split and the code. If you hold Alt plus Shift, it will allow you also to change within there. So that's pretty neat and that's pretty efficient. Next, if you hold Alt plus Shift and you click on the up or down arrow, you'll be able to move a line of code wherever you want and it will move only the line. So in case you put something in the wrong place, you can quickly select it and quickly move it. So for example, we can move this variable number above variable list, and that's all just by clicking Alt plus Shift plus up or down arrow. Now the next shortcut I want to show you is how to find the declarations and usages of anything you are selecting. So pretend you want to know where this number comes from. If you hold on Control plus B, it will take you right to where it has been initialized. And the same thing goes for this toast. If you want to know where it comes from, you do control plus B and it will take you to the original method or class and it will tell you everything about it. So that's a quick way to backtrack and find out where the original method value or class comes from. Shortcut number eight, pretend you were working on your project and you didn't really pay attention to the formatting of the code because you were in a hurry or something. Now, in case you mess up something, you can always select all of the code and hold down control plus alt plus L and it will reformat everything for you. And another good example would be when you go to your activity main, many times you will create a button or something and place everything in a weird order such as that. And usually when you create a lot of views, this can be very confusing to keep track of because then you will have to find out that the ID is on this line and the ID will be on this line. And for a different button, the ID might be on this line. So it becomes quite confusing in larger projects where your IDs and your XML values are located. So you want to do the same thing here. You want to select everything, then you can hold down Control Alt plus L and it will put everything in a standard format. So you will always find the ID at the top and that goes for everything here. Next, if you hold Control plus Shift and click up and down, it will actually allow you to move the entire statement. And that is pretty sweet if you want to move it pretty quickly around within the block that it is located. So for this example, we can move this toast statement anywhere within the onCreate method because it is inside its block. So we can move it up and down anywhere inside. And we can even move this on create function out of the class, but that doesn't really make any sense. And it is just a very fast way to move a statement up and down. And finally, shortcut number 10, which involves duplicating lines of code. So if you select any section of code inside your project, you can just hold down control plus D 
and it will duplicate it. And you can duplicate it as much as you want. Of course, you'll have an error that you have the same variable name, but that doesn't matter, that's not the point. The point is you can control and duplicate whatever you feel like. Although I shouldn't really go crazy with that. Just like that. But anyways, that was all for this video. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in another video.